It is high noon. Let's double check and make sure audio is coming through. Uh, video is up. So audio should be coming through, I think. <laughs> Let's just double check. Let's just double Let's check. check. Yes, oh. it is. Uh, video is up. All right. Happy Friday, everybody. This is Jordan Molson with Local Social Live, where we talk all things social, all things live streaming. We're doing this live, and we try to put a local business spin on everything that we discuss, because that's where my heart's at, is the local guy, the local gal, the local family who are running their shops in their community, their own respective communities. So the things we discuss can be applied um, throughout all businesses, whether they're online based, offline, local, not local, nationwide, worldwide, doesn't matter. We're talking about things that are going on in the world with media, digital media, online marketing, and especially live video. So we just try to take and apply those things um, in a local fashion because I think what spurred me on to do this show is local businesses still think there's, there's a lot of local businesses that are still in the mindset of this whole web stuff and digital media and live streaming and Facebooking and Twittering and all that stuff is just kind of non applicable and it can't be, that can't be farther from the truth. So I'm kind of doing my own thing here with live video and I'm practicing what I preach because I mean, I, I tell local businesses all the time, just start. Don't, don't, it, it's, it's never going to be perfect. Just start. So as you can see here, I mean, it's just me right now on the show running things myself and it's, it, it's pretty choppy. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's fun. It's, it's putting, you know, to, to, to talk about principles for everybody, putting myself out there. And it's going to pick up awareness. It's going to connect me to new people that I haven't talked before or haven't met before or talked with before. And that's the whole purpose of getting out there, doing something out of your comfort zone, doing something new and leveraging new media like live streaming. So let's see. Let me pull in. Give me just a couple of seconds here um, as I'm going to pull in the media that I'm going to be using, what we're going to be discussing today. And... Well, before I do that, I always forget to, to preface. Watch this video no matter what time of day that you're watching this. I want to encourage you to watch this as if it's live. So I guess I'm on a tooth. <laughs> watch this as if it's live. Interact with me as if we're having this conversation live right now. So... As I'm talking about things, if I ask questions or whether I'm just talking about the the news that we're going to discuss here pertaining to live video, comment, like share your thoughts. I know the audience is kind of is low because it's a brand new show. It takes time for things to pick up. But as you watch this, interact. I want your voice to be heard. I want to hear what you think about what we're discussing on these shows. And um, for those folks who are watching and kind of wanting to learn about live streaming. I've been, I'll share with you a little bit about my process and why I keep coming back to this app, which is called Smile Time. So far I've used three different things to live stream. I've used um, Be Live TV, which I love. I've used Smile Time, which I love, which I think is some of the same developers with Be Live TV, I think work on Smile Time. I could be way off on that, but I've used Be Live TV, I've used Smile Time, and I've used um, a new hard or um, localized software on that's not web based called Ecam Live. And all three of them have different features that make it better sense with different um, applications or whatever you're going to be doing live streaming wise. So I keep coming back to live, to Smile Time for two main reasons, just to let everybody know um, why I keep coming back to Smile Time versus Ecamm Live or Be Live TV. First reason, one of the most important reasons, is when I watch the replay, 
because I'm multi-purposing this content. I'm taking this content, I'm downloading and then re-uploading it um, with some added editing in, involved, added features in the video as a replay. So when I watch the replay, the replays that I have done through Smile Time, the audio, the syncing of audio and the quality of audio has been night and day above BeLive TV and Ecamm Live. I'm not sure why. Um, BeLive TV is also web-based, just like Smile Time is. But the couple of times that I've done it, it's been the audio has has been good, but it's been choppy and disconnected. The syncing has been really off between my mouth moving and the audio coming through. And it just hasn't been as clear and loud as Smile Time. Uh, same thing with Ecamm Live, probably because Ecamm Live is a you know direct software coming off the hard drive. There's a whole lot more processing going on in the computer, and I don't have a brand new um, you know up to date Mac, so that causes delay um, as well. So Smile Time so far, the replay quality, and I'm assuming the live quality too. I'm not watching it live because I'm doing it live. But the quality of the replay in the audio and visuals and everything has been stellar, uh, far above um, the other two that I've used. The other reason I keep coming back to Smile Time is the the interface. Let's see, I can let's do this real quick. Is the interface I can change and and Be Live has this too. And once I start going to uh, dual broadcast, meaning I'm, I bring on guests. I will. I have a feeling that I will probably start going to be live TV as my main um, live streaming platform, simply because that's what most people are using be live TV for is interactive group talk shows where there's more than one person, two people or three people or more, um, and that would make that make more sense. But for me, just being a solo broadcast right now. Smile Time makes a whole lot more sense for me, at least from what I've been testing, than Be Live TV or Ecamm because of the interface. I mean, you can drag around the video, which is really cool. I can move video up, down, sideways, full screen, small screen. Um, this is an old comment, but I can pull in comments like this. And um, Be Live TV does this as well. But I don't know. I just I just keep coming back to Smile Time. It flows better for what I'm doing right now than um, than the other two that I've been using. So let's see. Let's I guess get right into it. Um, again, I would encourage you as I'm doing this here. I encourage you, you folks who are um, getting kind of stuck on live streaming, meaning you want to do it, but you feel like things have to kind of be a little bit more perfect before you do it, I want to encourage you just to, to, to knock that off, to stop thinking that way, because I'm just doing this by myself with no, no assistance, no help yet. And it's a little, for me, it feels very messy. It feels very choppy, but I'm doing it anyway, because I know that eventually once I get to the point where this show picks up steam and people start hearing about it and sharing and talking and interacting about the show, um, by that point, I'll have gotten my flow down. I'll have gotten uh, the kinks worked out. And it's a learning process. So, so don't be afraid to start your own live stream show or whatever. But don't be afraid to start leveraging live streaming as a medium to get your message out about what you're doing or or your business, or anything, uh, because starting is the starting of the process. Until you start something and let it be messy for as long as it needs to be messy, you'll never give your chance. You can never give yourself the chance of working through those things until you're in the midst of it, moving forward, doing that kind of stuff. So, I guess that's my encouragement for the for today. Is if you're waiting for something or waiting to feel more comfortable or whatever to start leveraging live streaming, don't. Just start doing it. Because once you get to the point where you're comfortable and you're actually doing a great job and people are watching, 
they're not going to, they're not going to remember the, the path that you had to take to get to that point. They're just going to be introduced to you when they are introduced to you, whether it's episode five or episode 500 and you're going to get better and better and better. So, so today I'm going to pull on, we're going to talk about, this is something, this is a, an article that I saw um, in Joel Com's live streaming mastermind um, and it features him in it. So I haven't read through the whole thing yet, but I just figured since it's Face Live Fridays, Face Live Friday, and we're talking about we want to focus on live streaming and live video on Fridays, I figured this would be a great article. It just came out, what is today, the 20, oh, it came out a couple days ago, but it's from Switcher Studio, and it's a post entitled, as you can see, Five Live Video Experts to Follow. So if you're somebody who's considering whether you're a global business or just a you know, an entrepreneur trying to get a side hustle going for, for something, or whether you're a local ice cream shop. I keep coming back to ice cream shops. I don't know why. I guess I just love ice cream that much. Um, if you're a local ice cream shop, um, one of the first places to start, which is exactly where I started, was find people who are doing live video who have been doing it for a while and just watch them. Spend a few weeks, which I have. I mean, I've been watching live video for the past year to year and a half, and I haven't done anything with it other than just personal goofing off live streams here and there. So I've been watching for a long time. Uh, I wouldn't advise being a spectator as long as I have because things are moving so fast. You want to get in on new mediums and new platforms and new things with digital media. You want to get in before the critical mass hits and everything grows exponentially. So now's the time to do it. But I'd encourage you, one of the reasons I wanted to feature this was to encourage people to find people who are doing live video, find the two or three of them that you really connect with, you like their personality, you like your, their vibe and what they're talking about and whatever, and just watch and learn, study. Watch them mess up, watch them do great things, watch them have fantastic shows where everything seems perfect and, and flows. And you'll also get to watch the shows where things seem to kind of fall apart and are a little chaotic and it, it'll give you permission, especially when you, when you're watching people like these guys that are featured in this and gals featured in this, this post, they don't always get it perfect. Um, not to, not to sidetrack, but uh, Luria, Petru I'm sorry if she ends up watching this. I'm sorry. Luria Petrucci, Petrucci, Petru Lord Luria, <laughs> this lady, <laughs> This lady, uh, oh, hey, you can't see. Um, that's the only thing I wish that um, Smile Time and Be Live TV had was um, sh screen sharing. So here, I'll just do this real quick. I'll do this. All right, so let me get this out of here. Thanks for bearing with me. See, this is a uh, this is not super planned out and strategic, if you will. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Where are we at here? Where are we at? Come on. There we go. Okay. So, so you know who I'm talking about here. So I've taken a little bit of a rabbit trail, but. That's what live is about, taking rabbit trails. So same article, just down the page a little bit. So Luria, sorry, my beard hair keeps like attacking my mouth. So Luria, um, I remember just in the past couple of weeks, I saw a show that she did where she was very like, you could tell she, she was even talking on the show like, we're scheduled to go live right now because we, we're a show, we keep a schedule. Just like, you know, NBC News at 11 p.m., they can't just say, hey, we're not ready. Let's just cancel the show tonight. No, they have to go on no matter what's going on. So she had a show like that where she was talking about uh, they had to go live because that's when people were expecting them to go live. That was their their show time, and they were not ready. Everything was – nothing was really prepared. They had to hurry up, sit down, and press the button to get live in time. And she was preaching that this is what you got to do. This is part of live streaming, especially as, you know, just 
consumers, people, not people who aren't, you know, talking heads behind a, a, an ABC or an NBC desk somewhere. So I, br- I say all that to, to sidetrack to say, to emphasize, it doesn't have to be perfect before you start something. Just get started. And through that process, you'll learn the ins and the outs, the do's and the don'ts. And that's what I'm doing myself. I'm literally practicing what I'm preaching right now. Um, today, I had to kind of whip this together really quick because I had other things that I had to get done. And I just I didn't have the time to fully prepare. But that's changing because as this show becomes more popular, um, it will be getting more and more of my attention and my time. So let's go through this real quick. Um, I'll just leave. Let's see. I'll, I'll put this back up. So this and um, af- after the replay, whether you're, if you're watching this and it's not actually live right now in, in the description uh, around this video, you'll see uh, links to all the articles that I'm going to be referencing here today. So just click and uh, reference them. If you happen to be watching this live, just follow along with me. You can get the links here as soon as we're done uh, with the live show and the replays up. So five live video experts to follow. Um, Getting started in live video and need some guidance or inspiration? Look no further. We've met lots of experts in the field of live video, and it can be hard to decide who really knows what they're talking about. So here are five people that we think you should follow. And I'm probably going to butcher the names, but hey, Dave Basulto. See, I've never, he's, he's top at the top of this list, this blog post, um, never heard of him before, but just the video that they featured here of him looks really cool, intriguing. I'm not going to watch the video, but Dave Basulto, he's the inventor of the iographer case. Basulto became an entrepreneur at the age of 51 and now spends his time helping people create high quality video on mobile devices and developing new products. He's also the author of Life, Camera, Action, How to Turn Your Mobile Device into a Filmmaking Powerhouse. So uh, be sure to to check out this link. I'm going to research him because he sounds like somebody that I need to be following and I want to follow. Very, very cool. So Luria Petrucci. Petrucci, Man, why can't I say that? Luria Petrucci. I think that's how you say it. Luria, I apologize if that's completely but butchering your name. So Luria has been uh, live streaming and doing online video for 11 years. And I know that because I've seen them, her, her and a, her partner, David. So at livestreamingpros.com, Luria helps you start, grow, and monetize your live streaming show to establish your expertise, build your audience, increase your engagement, and increase your revenue. So she's one to definitely check out. And Brian Fanzo, a lot of people know about Brian Fanzo. I've been, um, I've heard about him for the last couple of years. So, in 2016, Brian spoke at over 50 events in 10 different countries, highlighting his passion for technology, change, collaboration, and community. As Chief Executive Officer, Brian helps brands embrace change in technology, social media, and live streaming by focusing on philosophy, people, and strategy. So, Brian's a cool guy. He's a family dude, but he travels a lot. He's a cool guy to watch. Now, Ross Brand, um, he's somebody I actually want to end up connecting with because he's got this show called Live Stream Stars where he features people who are doing live streaming. So Ross, out of all these people that, that are on this list, there's only two more. There's Ross Brand and there's Joel Com. Out of this entire list, n- not that they're better, but Ross and Joel, Ross Brand and Joel Com would be the two that if I had to tell you to just to pick two, Ross Brand and Joel Kahn would be the two that I'd say to follow simply because each of them, part of their personality and their brand of what they do online is bringing in, they bring in a bunch of other people. So they're surrounded. Now, now the other people may be too, but um, Brian, I don't see him doing that so much. Luria may, I just, for me personally, I watch Joel Com the most and Ross Brand probably the second. So these are guys that I actually watch that I follow and that I learn from and what they do, their 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 um, successes, their not their losses, but their their wins and their their losses of, of really good shows and maybe shows that are kind of choppy. I learn the most from these two guys. So Ross Brand every week, Ross showcases talented live stream broadcasters and asks them how they're how they're using live video to build their brands 
and their businesses. So if there's one show out of this thing, out of this list that I would recommend watching, if you're considering implementing live streaming into your, your, um, your strategy for marketing, Ross Brand's show is one that I would recommend. So Joel Com, a lot of people know about Joel Com. I love Joel Com. He's he's cool. He's super personable, laid back, but has been on the cutting edge of so many things since the late '90s. So Joel is a leading voice in live video marketing. Um, I'm actually in his live live video mastermind group, and that's where I get a lot of my information from. Is Joel and his the group that he's created. Um, he's probably Joel's probably one of the ones who has really gotten my attention uh, for live video simply because I got invited. I don't even remember how, but I got invited to his live video mastermind group. And that's kind of what's really started my attention on this whole live streaming thing. So whether you're using tools such as Facebook Live, Periscope, or Snapchat to broadcast or leveraging the power of emerging technologies. So Joel's an excellent one to watch. So again, Catch the link in the replay and read that article. I'm only going to, this is the one that I wanted to focus on the most because it's Face Live Fridays or Face Live Friday. So these five experts, um, the only one I haven't heard of was the first guy, Dave Basulto. But just by reading about him, I now want to go research him. So even if we stop the live stream right here, this would be worth it because Face Live Friday, these are five live video experts that people need to follow if you're even remotely considering adding live streaming to your your marketing strategy which i'm preaching to everybody that i talk to what are you doing with live video you should be doing something even if it's ugly <laughs> even if it's horrible well not horrible but so dave basulto luria petrucci petrucci but those double c's man petrucci brian fanzo Ross Brand and Joel Com. So, five live video experts to follow. The rest of the, the rest of the show, I'm just going to touch on these really briefly. Um, just wanted to, to bring attention to Twitter. Twitter for Apple TV adds live, excuse me, live three six three hundred sixty degree video and Periscope's global map. So, Twitter, as we've talked about in a couple different episodes already, and this is only episode four but I've talked about it at least twice, I believe, in other episodes, that Twitter is completely, seems like it's completely re wanting to rebrand itself in the, in the eyes of the public. So they've been known, obviously, for just quick little text message updates uh, around the world. And a lot of even news media takes a lot of their cutting edge or breaking news stories from Twitter. But now Twitter is really wanting to become a broadcast channel. So this is, this is just more proof that Twitter's really working hard to make the shift to go towards a broadcasting company. What that's going to look like exactly, we don't know. We're watching it right before our eyes. So Twitter launched a version. Oh, let me uh, – sorry about that. Let me switch this media over here. All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. So Twitter launched a, let me get this window down that I can see both things here. There we go. So Twitter launched a version of its service on Apple TV and other media player platforms last fall in order to deliver its live video content to the big screen. So today the company is updating its Apple TV app and this was posted, what's the date on this? I believe this was in, within the last 48 hours that this is posted. So um, today the company is updating its Apple TV app with a couple of new features, including support for Periscope's global map and the ability to watch live 360-degree videos. Again, that sounds like a media company. It sounds like a broadcasting company. They're, they're taking things and pulling them in and then rebroadcasting them. So the company, Twitter, notes that with this launch, Twitter is the first – First, Apple TV app to support live 360 video, 360 degree video. That's huge. So Twitter is the first Apple TV app to support live 360 degree video. That tells me something that's there, you know. Yeah, to try out the new feature, Apple TV owners will use the Siri remote to move around the video to view its content from different angles, offering a more immersive look into the scene. 
To date, Twitter's TV applications, which are now available on Fire TV, Xbox One, and most recently Roku, have been designed to feature Twitter's live video content, much of it coming from the company's numerous content deals. For example, Twitter earlier this month announced a series of new live shows, including those from the WNBA, BuzzFeed, Viacom, Live Nation, and others. With additions, Twitter met its goal of being able to offer users live video 24 hours a day. That's crazy. (laughs) That's pretty cool. However, live video content on Twitter doesn't just come from Twitter's premium partnerships. There's also user-generated live video to explore, stream through its Periscope app, or directly from users' tweets. The company says that during the first quarter of 2017, there will be 77 million hours. (laughs) That's 77 million hours of live user-generated video broadcast on Twitter. This is huge. Twitter says that during the first quarter of 2017, there's going to be 77 million hours of live user-generated video broadcasts on Twitter. That's pretty crazy. So um, keep a watch on Twitter, y'all. It's it's uh, Twitter's making some big changes, big changes. So. I'll go ahead and read the rest of this article, I guess, since we got it up here. Uh, to, screen, to stream live in 360 degrees, Periscope users can take advantage of tools like Periscope Producer, which works with the Ryko Theta S or the Aura 4i, or they can use an attachable smartphone camera like the Insta360 Nano for iOS devices or the Insta360 Air. Apple TV users can now explore the added Periscope map to find other user-generated content from around the world, including both 360 live videos and otherwise. So, man, that's cool. I got to check into this. Um, I don't have an Apple TV, but I got Roku, so I'm going to check into that myself and see what it's all about. All right. So last, possibly last, I might I might talk about one more article here. Um but this is one that's I've been hearing about for the past week or so. And this was released here just in the last couple of days. So Facebook adds private chat to live videos to avoid the crowds. This one seems a little odd to me, um, but it, you know, it obviously must, they have a reason for it. Otherwise they wouldn't be putting forth the time and the effort and the money to, to make it happen. So joining in on a popular live video on Facebook can be a fun way to feel part of a broader online community, but it can also subject you to a myriad of inane comments, which are often too crowded to make any sense of it in the first place. So starting today, Facebook is giving you another option, watching live videos privately with your friends. Okay, so now it's making a little bit more sense. The creatively named live chat with friends is precisely what it sounds like. Instead of trying to sift through a bazillion comments, now this is this is geared obviously towards the the live video streaming, the live video streams from um, platforms and um, brands who get you know hundreds and hundreds of live viewers with hundreds and hundreds and thousands of comments coming through that it's impossible to to keep up with essentially what what they're saying. So. Uh, Facebook says instead of trying to sift and fight through a bazillion comments, Facebook says people comment on live videos 10 times more than regular ones. You can simply enjoy it in peace and quiet while conversing with just a few of your friends. While you can invite both friends who are already watching the stream or others that you think may be interested. And to be clear, this is a new feature for public live broadcast. You've always had the option to share your own live videos privately with friends. Meanwhile, Facebook is also adding a new live with feature that allows you to invite a friend into your stream so that you can hang out right on your broadcast. In order to invite someone, pick a guest from the live viewer section, and they can join in and either with a picture in picture window or a side by side frame. So we talked about that, I believe last Friday. Live chat with friends is being tested on mobile devices in several countries and will roll out broad broadly later in the summer. Live with is available on iOS now for all profiles and pages. No word yet on an Android implementation. So 
for all you Android lovers. Things seem to roll out with Facebook first to Apple devices, iOS devices. So that's pretty cool. I haven't used this yet, um, but it's something I would definitely like to try out just to see, just to fam familiarize myself with the way that it works. But what do you think about that? If you're watching this in the replay, um, what do you think? What do you think about that? Cool? Indifferent? Doesn't matter? Let me know. I'd love to know your thoughts. So the last thing, let's see if I'm going to get into this last one here. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll talk about it just briefly here. Let's see. It's about how James Corden is getting a snap a Snapchat show. <clears throat> Excuse me. So James Corden, if you don't know James Corden, he's the guy who does a lot of the uh, lip sync or um, I don't guess it's lip syncing, but um, karaoke in the car. And he features different, you know, celebrities and, and such public figures who get in the car and they drive somewhere and they're they're all singing. Um, that's weird. They're all singing. Sorry, the, the platform was telling me something. Um, they're all singing karaoke together in the car. So that's him. So he, James Corden, is getting a Snapchat show, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, very strategic, probably, on Snapchat's part of trying to get themselves back in the public eye and get because because James Corden has a, a big following. People love what he does with his little karaoke bit in the car. So it's like Snapchat is strategically trying to get the attention from the fans of James Corden and pulling them over to their platform, which is pretty dang smart. So it says James Corden will be hunting for his successor on Snapchat. And that's the premise of a new fictional reality show headed to the popular mobile app featuring the late, late show host CBS interactive announced on Tuesday, James Corden's next James Corden <laughs> will debut in the fall on Snapchat shows, which features short, TV-like videos on the app's Discover platform. So pretty cool. All right. So there's no need to discuss that any further. Um, so let's get this off. So again, today, if you can't tell, today was just kind of a choppy day for me. Um, again, I had a lot of, I had not a lot, but I had some other important things going on that demanded my attention. And this show I kind of had to throw together pretty quick. And I say that only to encourage anybody who happens to watch this to not wait till you feel like everything's in control and perfect and laid out and smooth before you start leveraging live streaming video for whatever it is you do, whether you sell soaps at the local farmer's market, whether you have a local ice cream shop or a local ice cream tr food truck or something like that or whether you're somebody who has 50 locations throughout the United States um, for massage therapy or chiropractic or something like that. Don't wait for things to be perfect. So one of my, two of my, two of my big things that um, I talk about pertaining to live video for local businesses is it doesn't have to be fancy. You don't even have to be on camera talking or discussing things. I had a, an encounter, a, a discussion with a couple of millennial ladies, probably in their late 20s, early 30s, uh, a couple of weeks ago. And we were talking about live video, live streaming, Facebook, YouTube, all that social media stuff. And I shared with them the two ideas that I've given a pizza shop and a chiropractor. And the idea is simply to set up a live stream camera or a mobile device and just stream live like a like a behind the scenes, like nobody on camera like this talking, just a live scene stream, if you will, of for the pizza pizza place. I said, set it up and just stream your pizza line, so people can can see you live making pizzas during lunchtime or dinner time or something like that. 
uh, for the chiropractor, I said, you know, you'd have to uh, get uh, permission from patients that, you know, they're not going to be on camera talking, but that they give you permission to um, be on camera. But you could set it up where nobody would even see the patients. Uh, they could just get a, a view of you interacting and talking with the patients. And I told these two um, ladies this, and they their response that got my attention was simply said, that's cool. That would get my attention. And today with everything and today's times with social media moving so fast, things online moving so fast, our news feeds moving so fast and constantly updating, all we're vying for, like Gary Vaynerchuk says, is we're vying for attention. His big phrase is, he day trades attention. That's all you're looking for is attention. You just need those few seconds of attention to bring the awareness of who you are and what you are and what you offer, your company, your company name, your company brand. You just need those few seconds or a couple of minutes of attention to at least get yourself in the minds of people. So for that to jump out to them, just somebody not doing a live streaming show where nobody's talking, just a look inside a chiropractic practice to see a chiropractor taking care of his patients and caring for people or a pizza shop owner for being people being able to look like a fly on the wall and look down at a pizza line and see the guy or gal making the pizza for, for two millennial young ladies to say that would get my attention to me. That's like cash in the cash money in the bank. That's, that's the attention you're looking for. So that, that would be my encouragement. Any local business who does happen to watch this, stop overthinking stuff. Just get your live stream and going at all, at whatever cost. Um, if you're an ice cream shop, set a live stream camera or a mobile de- spare mobile device up on your your ice cream area, wherever you're making your ice creams. Let people just, just stream, make an ice cream for an hour, two hours, three hours. It will get people's attention. They like, people like seeing behind the curtain. Um, I can't help but think of, geez, what's his, I forgot his name all of a sudden. Chocolate Johnny. He's a snap, he, he got his fame, I guess, through Snapchat. Excuse me one second. And he's a local, uh, owns a local chocolate shop. He's a chocolatier, I guess. Is that how you say it? <laughs> A chocolate, a chocolatour. He's a chocolate shop owner in Australia, and that's what he would snap all his live videos and all his snaps were just things going on in his store. Taking a live video of uh, people making chocolate, taking a live video of him talking with some of his, you know, most regular customers. It really is that simple. But the key to what he did was consistency. He, he showed up day after day, time after time, and people began to be able to depend that, hey, Chocolate Johnny is going to be streaming from his, his uh, shop today. I wonder what kind of chocolate they're making today. I wonder what they got going on today. And I forget his stats, but he his business grew from that, not only locally, but globally. So I remember a, a live stream that Joel Com did. We discussed Joel Com here just a second ago. I remember a live stream that Joel Com did where Chocolate Johnny actually sent Joel Com chocolates from Australia. So he's uh, Chocolate Johnny's in Australia. Joel Com is in Colorado. So it's impacted his business big time just by doing simple, you know, looks behind the curtain in his own chocolate shop. So how could you apply that for your business? I don't know your business like you do. So, it doesn't just stop overthinking it. Stop overthinking it. If you truly, honestly can say that there's nothing creative you can think of, then even popping on a live stream, I've told my cousin this, who's a chiropractor in Tennessee, just popping on a live stream just like this with your, with your phone out, you know, hold your phone up, do a live stream, and just kind of talk for two or three minutes about what's going on that day. Hey, you know, this is, you know, Dr. Chiropractic up in, you know, Kalamazoo, Michigan or wherever. 
And uh, just ending the day here for another successful day in our practice, located at, you know, 123 Main Street. We saw 50 patients today, had five new patients, and, man, it's just a, been an awesome day. We get more and more people. It just, yes, it's self-promotional, but it's better to, to get on live stream and be a little self-promotional than it is to not do it. What if one person saw a live you a live stream like that that you did? That's one person you didn't get in front of before you did it. So, all right, I'll get off my soapbox here. So I'd encourage you to watch the replay, share the replay, and interact. Uh, if you have done that, those things, I sure appreciate it. Uh, this is Local Social Live where we are – going to be broad or broadcasting every Wednesday and Friday uh, at 12 p.m. high noon Eastern Standard Time. So every Wednesday and Friday, I'm going to pull up the banner here so you can see. Let's see. There we go. Local Social Live every Wednesday and Friday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Our Wednesday show is our Wednesday show is focused on it's called What's Up Social Wednesdays where we kind of focus on social media specifically and then Face Live Fridays we're specifically talking about live streaming and the things that have happened in the past week or so or a few days pertaining to the world of live streaming. And eventually I'm actually in talks right now with um, having my first guest on, on a Friday, somebody who is, has used live streaming and been on live streaming in multiple different scenarios um, for herself and for other people as well. So I um, haven't confirmed it yet, but hopefully we'll have, I'll have my first guest on face live Friday, either next week, next Friday or the Friday after that. So tune in and uh, check it out. And before we go here, I wanted to, I just put, I'm going to get the media up here. It's the only thing I don't like about this is pulling in image by image. Let's see here. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Uh, sorry, one second. Well, I'll just pull that in. Just put the finishing touches on a 20-minute power-packed um, training that I'm releasing. And you guys here, whoever happens to see it, will get to see it first. So 20-minute 20, 20 live training teaching you how to 100x your audience reach and impact. And it's completely free. There's no strings attached. There's no charges. There's no obligation. Um, come on. See, not everything goes just like you think it should. There we go. So let me get a caption up here. do that. All right. So it's going to be how to multiply. So can I put that down there? Yeah, it's fine. How to multiply your audience reach and impact a hundredfold. So how to essentially 100 X your audience impact and reach. So this is a free power pack 20 minute training that I've just put the finishing touches on and I'm releasing as um, just my way of, of getting people in touch with me. So it's completely free. It's valuable. I think it's highly valuable. I'd love your feedback on it, but it's free. Just visit jordanmolson.com forward slash 100x, and you can opt in. That's all, I, that's all I require is name and email address and give you the free training. It's 20 minutes of power-packed information that you can apply immediately to 100x your 
uh, your reach and your impact. So we did also discuss uh, online marketing in general, and I talk about what's, I contrast what used to work really well and what's not working much anymore and what's working right now in the realm of digital marketing and online marketing. And then I go through three different traffic multipliers that, um, that, are, that you need to have in place for success in online marketing today. And then I show you how to kind of combine all those three, those three different things in order to 100x your audience reach and impact. So if you like that free training, if it sounds interesting to you, just visit jordanmolson.com forward slash 100x. All right. Just missed that. All right. So I encourage you to come back next week. For Local Social Live, broadcasting live Wednesdays and Fridays at 12 noon, Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time. Wednesdays is What's Up Social Wednesdays, and Fridays is Face Live Fridays. Talking about all things social media, live streaming. We're streaming this live, and we're putting a local marketing spin on everything we discuss. So thanks for being here today. Thanks for, thanks for engaging. If you have commented, you will hear back from me. I will respond to every single comment that comes in right now. That's not many, but I'm sure it'll grow in the days to come. And um, would love to have you on the show. If you're using, if you have a, a testimonial of how you have used social media and or live streaming to impact your business in any way, even if it's just getting one new customer, I'd love to, sh to share your story and feature you on one of our upcoming episodes. So reach out to me, message the page at m.me slash local social live you can also get in touch with me um, personally as well at uh, m.me forward slash jordan molson so you can check out the page here at fb.com forward slash local social live so thanks for being here i sure appreciate your attention i sure appreciate any any shares that you can give this video if you found it valuable and i look forward to seeing you next week Wednesday and Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, 12 p.m. noon Eastern Standard Time for What's Up Social Wednesday and Face Life Friday. Thanks again for being here. Jordan Molson signing off. God bless and have a great weekend. Take care.